Now this is Hollywood Unlocked. What up, everybody? This is Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored. I'm Jason Lee. I'm Melissa Ford, a.k.a. The Curve Queen. Yo, it's DJ Damis. Let's get the show started. Yo, and there's no food on the table, but we got the food guy <laughs> in the building. He's here. <laughs> yeah. How do we make this happen? You know, Jonathan, you're fucking popping in these streets. Mm -hmm. I'm popping in the streets, but I was eating, like, um, almonds walking here. I stopped for 10 <laughs> minutes making sure the guy gave me the hot almonds when he mixes it. Don't give me the bags that are sitting there for hours. Fresh. I was so hungry. Did, almonds? Almonds. Okay, okay. Food God, a.k.a. Jonathan <laughs> Chiba. We've known you for years. I've watched you before I knew you, of course. I just sit back and go, damn, he's fucking everywhere. Mm. But now you're the food God, and now you're, like, ridiculously famous to the extent that you even have little kids hopping out of bushes yelling food God and demanding photos <laughs> in Miami. I guess it happened. How? I don't know. How? People like food God more than they like Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I'm telling you, like... People like like Jonathan, people love Food God. Okay, so for clarification for people who are just learning about Food God over mm -hmm. here, it's not that you're a cook, it's that you eat out all the time? It's, it's the complete <laughs> opposite. It's a modern day version <laughs> of like... Anthony what, Bourdain maybe? Ish. Yeah, you know, you never, I never like say that because like all of a sudden, like you're not Anthony Board. Well, you're not gonna die, kill yourself. Kill, yeah, well, I hope not. I mean, you bet not. Like, I'm not. No, because then how are we gonna go out? <laughs> we got, we got shit to do. Jonathan yeah. is. But you like to go out and you like. So to what eat. I do is you're the brand. Foodie. My yeah. brand is I eat out 365 days a year. Yeah. But I people are really interested in finding out about these amazing. Food porn foods, mm, hot restaurants, food porn, cool places. Yeah. Everybody, every single person Instagrams their food. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like the same as fashion and it's clothes. Everybody does it. Yeah. I just was not gonna try to compete in the fashion, the makeup, and I was like, Well, I need my own lane. And I like and to I, eat. I've been pick I've been posting pictures of food yeah. for years and everybody be like, Oh my god, you post celebrities, any celebrity would come, Oh, I just saw this thing you put. It's crazy. This this is crazy. Mm -hmm. Where do you find them? And I always find them. And mm -hmm. now I was like, well, you know what? I, it's time mm -hmm. for me to make it like a brand. Cause yeah. you know, I've been on Kardashians for so long. Obviously mm -hmm. that gave me such fame, 180 countries that yeah. were on. I've been on the show for ten years, as long as them. I just haven't I wasn't on the first season, but right. I've been on every single Season yeah. every single wow. take series, yeah. Every single everything. Sorry, and, my and, back's here. Just this jacket's tight, so I, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta sit at one angle or the other. No, that's cool. It's man. only good for pictures later. Today. Well, and what says a lot about you too, because you know I know some of the Kardashians. I don't know all of them like you do, but to be that close to them that long and still be around and be loyal and trusted right. is not an easy thing in mm. this business. No, I'm, I mean I'm, I'm like a vault. That's the that's the difference with me. Like I just you know I like information, but I don't I don't give it out. So mm -hmm. people trust me. Um, you know, even when it comes to food, I mean, food, I'll give it up. Okay. But not, but not everything. There's places that I don't want people to go to like mm. a real hidden secret place in LA where it's like crazy beef. Like they come on with these little grills mm -hmm. and it's not, not Benihana, um, with this like insane, like 10 course meal. And it looks like it's in a hidden Mexican, uh, closed Mexican restaurant in a strip mall. And you don't even know that you're walking in, and it's like I'm sitting here. Two thousand dollars a person for the best beef ever. I want you to spill all your secrets because I'm an undercover listen, fat listen, ass. Listen, listen, listen. I would. I would. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> people love it. And just so you know, like people from around the world go to the places I post. Mm -hmm. I walk down from Netherlands, from Germany, from mm. anywhere. They're like food god, food god, and that's like so fun about the brand that it could be kids that are like ten years old mm -hmm. to grandmas that are like you know seventy years old and like everything in between. You just never know. I keep walking into a hotel. It's like I'd say she's a seven year old woman. The second I walk in, she's like food god, food god. I'm <laughs> like, what is this crazy? I, I, I'm not gonna lie. The other day, me and you went to One Oak, and I almost punched a couple people <laughs> because I'm not a touch me kind of person no, you're like not. you know no, you not. know me you're my friend i'm yeah. a cool person but like if you don't know me just like check my temperature mm -hmm. standing next to you i feel like i'm always getting run over by young white girls like they just are screaming no, your name it's everything God. though like and this that. guy who wanted to what? just in, just like obsessively film i'm like but Where the by, fuck just so you know from? this is the difference of like just being on the kardashians to being food god now before it was just those girls but now the cool thing is it's like all those like boys that are cool the hype beast kids and just like everyone in the elevator this guy i don't know he's got to be like 30 like like a full like jock kid was like oh, food god 
oh my god like i can't I'm, he's like i'm just such a big fan and people like that's the cool thing when these kids that are just like supremed out and all that it could be here it could be in i go to austria anywhere in the world and they're like food god oh my god it's food god it's like such a cool thing before it was just like little girls like whatever it is like i love you on the show and say hi to kim but now it's like they just 90 percent is like food god so for years people knew you as kim's best friend uh, confidant publicist and then you decided what, what was the turning determining factor for you to say i'm going to build well, my own brand separate is. from them. So the, the, the part that's also annoying, yeah, I'm Kim's best friend, but I'm also like on the show and yeah. people don't they can't get it Make through that their brains that it's like it's like the show Friends. There's like people on the show, everyone's like it's a thing. So they don't understand. They're like, "Oh, it's Kim's friend." They don't understand I have an entire business and a world. They think I'm just hanging out. Mm -hmm. So like oh, I right, yeah. they're, they're like it's like what does he do? He just hangs around Kim. Yeah, I hang around Kim, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I've been running companies with like 30 employees while you were like still fucking in middle school. Like you have no idea I will eat you up, eat you alive. <laughs> That's the thing that I look young but I'm like a beast cuz mm -hmm. I know biz I know every business. I've worked mm -hmm. in the modeling business. I interned for David Letterman. Oh, nice. I used to I have my own PR firm, like three of them with like 20 people. Through Still all active? No. No, God, you just no. loved it. No, that was the whole transition part yeah. to TV, mm -hmm. which was also a pain in the ass, mm -hmm. too, because like, you know, I was a publicist. People could not understand how a publicist could be on TV and become famous. That also doesn't resonate through their head. Like mm. a, a mortician could be, could get you, famous and everyone's you, okay you with it. You get branding. You get branding. Of course. Yeah. I get branding and mm -hmm. I get branding on myself. Mm -hmm. And I've also been able to, you know, do it for 10 years. And I've helped a lot of people, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. I love helping people. I love helping people ask me about, oh, what should I do? What should I do? You know, somebody we were with the other night, a very famous person that was with was like you i i love your you understand please help me like i i need your help with this like this is like you got it and it's like that i just know branding and i know you know all the fun stuff that you know even kim and i used to do when we started all the shenanigans we used to put you know back then to get her photographed and like Britney Spears and J-Lo, we would just do crazy shit just so Kim could get photographed mm -hmm. back then. Even though she was getting photographed in the streets, mm -hmm. it was still just like cheesy Kim, cheesy white Range Rover. I, I remember the e early days when White Lotus was around an area in L.A. and she would pop up with Paris and like there was buzz about her because people were like, we don't see no girls in Hollywood that looks like that. What is that? And then it just right, became Right, because she was thing. still hot, but yeah. she didn't look like one of those... Um, the L.A. look, even before the, the, the Paris... The Paris and the Nicole... But even before that, it was like that hot uh, rock and roll girl. Mm -hmm. And they were hot, like that girl Bobby Brown. Mm, was like, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Fire, like <laughs> stunners. But Kim was like, all of a sudden, there was never a dark hair she version of that. She was a curvy, them. dark hair girl. Yeah, so you yeah. take those girls, dark hair, and add curves, and all of a sudden it was like, what? what is this? Boom. And, mm -hmm. and we literally, like, I was best friends with Paris, and Paris and I used to have our birthday parties together, and Nicole Richie, we were friends. But then, like, we just, like, stopped. It wasn't the vibe anymore. Mm -hmm. And, like... Lindsay yeah. too. And Lindsay, I was friend very I wasn't like best friends with like I was with Nicole. Like Nicole, you know, I would see her every day. Um but then when I met Kim, it was just like from the second it started, we were like instant. It was instant. What's Synergy. the connection? There was no connection. Brittany Gastineau. I love Brittany Gastineau. It was her birthday and I sat next to Kim. And uh, it was just like this. She was sitting right next to me. And I'm like, oh, my God, I never saw her before. You bring up Brittany Gastineau. It's so crazy. Larsa had invited me to an art thing she mm -hmm. does with the, some some of the creative art people. Brittany does it. Brittany right. does this whole art thing. And Kim came. And, like, you all seem to really support each other, which is yeah. really unique. Because in Hollywood, I feel like people support each other, get hot, and then they go off and do their own mm -hmm. thing. But, like, right. you guys still... It's like a community of support. Right. Is that, like, a conscious thing? Or is that just you guys really all like each other? No, I think it's just how we are all the time which is why it's been so successful because we just like we just like support we don't hate that's the thing and you know like there's just so many people that hate out there and it's like to me it's fun i love it i get a million haters a day there'll be a thousand <laughs> comments about me on this thing talking shit i'm like i don't care i work i came from zero and i worked all the way to the top and i am like not embarrassed about driving a cotton candy rolls royce dawn I don't convertible. care. Convertible. Peanut butter brown interior. I don't care because you know what? I grew up not even having a lunchbox. You know what I mean? We came mm. here with zero. So I'm like, I tell them, I'm like, get off your ass. Stop hating. Go fucking work or figure it out. Right. I did. I didn't even speak English when I came here. So I'm like, I'm never like, I love haters. Wait, where are you like, from? I'm Russian originally. Oh, really? I yeah. grew up in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Yeah, I grew though. up in New Jersey and yeah. like all different parts of New Jersey, but not even. Yeah. Before that, we lived in like Elizabeth, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. like, Rough. 
Rough. Wendy was just here a couple weeks ago. She said, yeah. Elizabeth, you pack your shit up and you get the fuck on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You grew up there? Yeah. No wonder it? you're such an asshole. But it's a, a good I'm, asshole. I'm an asshole because I'm just so kind of like like a defensive. When actor. I say asshole, meaning you're very direct, you're very clear, yeah, you right. don't mince words, you yeah. don't play like it. And I love He's it because I'm the same way. Right. Mm -hmm. I love oh, yeah, it. Now, true. because you know what? I've worked way too hard mm -hmm. to like get to this level. And fuck around. Mm -hmm. Like I don't party, I don't drink, I don't do drugs. I don't take pills like the cra it's all this crazy How stuff do you over not drink? I really don't drink. I'll have like a sake, I'm huh? not against it. I just I'll have a sake, I'll have a bellini, I'll have a vodka that's a, seven. That's amazing. But I don't get dr I don't get you'll never see me crawling out of a place. It's and just, you're a good time sober. And I'm fun because yeah. I, you know what it is? I'm like a I'm a I'm like a, a chameleon. Yeah. Like if you're going to be drunk, yeah. I'm drunk with you. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. I'm not a party pooper. Like right. you want to keep going, we're going to keep going. Yeah. If you're like the other way, you want to watch TV, I'm like I'm ready to watch now, TV. Now don't go to live in Miami with him though because he's so fucking popular. They pull him everywhere and you're standing there with the fucking bottle people like you work at the club. I was like, I'm out. <laughs> this shit. But you're fun to hang with. So you're inside the Kardashian world. When you look at all the hate they get from the outside and you know them personally, how do you, how do you like, sort that out? I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's the same thing as in my own head. You have to, like, block it out. It's just that there's people that that love people, and then those are the people that do well in life. And then I love the haters because I know they're just, like, not going anywhere. It's, like, it's sad for them. I almost feel bad for the haters because I'm, like, you can't be happy watching people work and succeed. So, like, if I was born with it, I get the hate. You know what I mean? If I was, like, born going to school in a limo, like, then you could hate on me for this yeah. life. But people just hate, oh, riding Kim's coattails. I'm not riding Kim any. I helped Kim beyond it's like it's just like a whole different you know i i've i've helped her like navigate all of that from the start mm -hmm. it's like I'm, I'm not writing anything i'm on a tv show obviously like if i'm not funny i would not be on a tv show for 10 years it, it, there's a lot of levels that you have to go through to stay on that show you know what i mean like someone one person could not like me it could be the production company it could be e it could be chris it could mm -hmm. be Kim, it could be Chloe. It doesn't matter, but like I, you know, I'm always trustworthy. I've never broken their trust once. And like people just don't get it. And it's funny to me because they're like, oh, you're writing her call. I'm like, I'm not writing anything. Believe me, I work 24 hours a day. That's how I have a whole freaking enterprise and a whole business going and a whole enterprise. thing. I like that word, enterprise. And the podcast. Real, so real look, life. podcast. Wait, we, we're going to get to that, but wait. Okay. We, we, Jonathan was on, uh, Food God was on uh, Wild and Out. Yeah. So, oh my God. The, so I get the tip <laughs> sheet the that? night, I get the tip sheet the night before Food God is on. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have fun with this one. How was the experience being on that show? Not good, because I'm not good in, the, in, in that kind of, I'm not an entertainer in that aspect. <laughs> mm. I'm funny, but I can't dance and be funny. <laughs> <laughs> or sing and be funny. Or rap and be funny. I'm with Witty and I'm fast and I can go like a machine gun, but like I don't know, people are dancing and singing at the same time. I go, I'm not that person. <laughs> but I am good on reality TV and I am good entertaining, but yeah. like that was so stressful. I'm like, I, I cannot, and I got so much shit for that too. I no, get shit for everything. No, so I'm walking down the street from Chris's house to Kim's and I go, Hey, you know, Food God was on while well, now. She goes, what the fuck was he doing? I go, he was rapping. She said, Mom, Jonathan was on uh, Wild and Out. We laughed so hard, but I thought you did so But did good. you tell him that I won? Oh, I told him that you got I the belt. I have a belt. No, I know. I, <laughs> so you really get a belt when you win. Yeah, yeah you do. I, I, I thought it was a scam. Yeah, and I was months. on his team, so I felt like you know I was a part of that. Yeah, that was good. Thank God Jason was there, because I was like in a panic. He was, like, what? He was like, what the fuck that, do we I don't do? know I go, that I don't know show. shit. I'm new, too. Right. I'd rather, go, I'd rather play <laughs> Jeopardy than that. That was like You did a great job. Yeah, no, I was going to, well, first I was going to say, I'm just stalking your page right now, and I want to know, how exactly do you stay so slim eating stuff like that? This, for Oof. our audience, like, wow. Well, you don't eat the whole thing, right? I eat a lot. I'm a big eater. Like, I'm hungry, so today I will devour. <laughs> um, You know, I don't eat this? everything, the whole thing, and I'm not an you animal. You just eat, like, once a day? My mouth is watering no, I eat, like, three this. times a day, and I'll eat, like, a lot, like, like a lot and I, I need to f I finish everything and I'm barbaric if I'm starving I'll eat the 10 pieces of bread <laughs> everything I'll eat your food like oh let, let's get that I love eating I love going to eat with people that split stuff because I like to split because mm -hmm. I like to try a thousand things I don't like people that like like a specific food and don't like or like just a vegan I'm like are you serious oh my god that means I have to get three plates and then you know it's just an, it's annoying. <laughs> no, I mean, and you're fun. Like people that don't know jo uh, food god Jonathan. Uh, you gotta stop saying it like a, a food no, god. No, no, because I gotta get legally it right. changing no, to that. So you're gonna have to remember. I, it, I honestly, won't even look at you. You're legally changing your name. Yeah, to I food just, god. I did fingerprints already. Wait, are you? Your Jonathan Chibin's going away. Chebin. Yes. Chebin. Food god. Food god. First one name. Word. First name. Food. No. Okay. One word. Food god. 
One word. What is that process? I'm changing your name in my phone right now. You should, because it's like, I I don't even, it's weird when people say Jonathan. I'll introduce myself as Jonathan, because I'm not, it's weird to say food god for me. Yeah. But the second I say, oh, but you know, I'm food god, I have a whole brand, they can't stop saying food god. I met somebody. They'll be like, food god. I met somebody who likes likes to be addressed as the prophet of God, but. No, I ain't playing that shit. (laughs) That's a little more. Now you're going to go down. I'm just just, just fun and happy with food god. When I call you, the conversation is never food god or Jonathan. It's just like, what the fuck? (laughs) 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 We'll leave it at that. (laughs) How did that happen? Good conversation, good company all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, last night I was having coffee in a hotel. Won't say the hotel. Kim was sitting in the lobby. You stop stop talking about Kim so much. No, let me just drop. Well, what I brought up while when I brought up while and out, what (laughs) I meant to say was my second way that I forgot because we got on some other shit yeah. was I remember you behind the scenes being very clear I don't want to talk about Kim right you can have one Kim joke or one bring it one time and right. that's it keep it moving like you're really about standing on your own two feet I just at this point because I've been doing it forever me being on a TV show I've had my own show I've been on TV on the, the fabulous life that mm-hmm. show for years like for years I was like before before Kim was on TV I was on TV for years before. So, like, I, I always have my own thing. But you know what? It's like, we're just friends. That's what it is. And I'm always like, who doesn't hang out with their best friend? It doesn't mm-hmm. make sense. So like, why would I not? So you could say that I ride her coattails or, like. I think her, you're her, a good loyal friend. I mean, she loves you. Like, you see you guys privately. There's yeah. it's a real, it's not like a TV or fake shit. Right. The reason I brought it up in my last question was I was in the hotel yesterday and I was thinking about Paris. She just recently had not too long ago, a very serious car accident where she almost died and then Kim having had that situation as a friend, I didn't really know how, like you don't really know how to handle a situation like that, especially when you have a friend who's so strong. How did you handle that? You know, when it's world news, it's weird. Mm. So it's just a weird thing when, you know, I'm getting one story and then I see a different story on Mm -hmm. the the news. So it's like, because it's, you know, my story's ahead of that story. So I'm like, okay. And then people's trying to say that it was fake and all that. People are just so stupid. Sometimes, like, what kind? Who the fuck fakes a, a, a robbery? Ties himself up into a bathtub? Like, what kind of fucking? Right. Are we allowed to curse? Yes. Yeah. What kind of fucking idiots are there in the world that would think that? Those are the people that don't make it in life, and that's why I feel bad for them. I'm like, go work. There's got to be something. You could do something on Instagram. Go find. Go something. Figure it out. Fucking make clocks and make them cool with make fucking clocks. with vibe and paint make them, them cool. and bedazzle them and sell them. Like you got to be able to do that some. That might go, work. Go, go spend some time making clocks. Right? It, it might work. work. That's a good. No one's done that really. Like fucking fire clocks. I'm looking at that clock. Well, you you don't usually clap back on Instagram, but the other day I posted a oh, picture I of us. And, do you? I stopped. They they begged me to stop. It was the first time on my Instagram you clap back. Somebody had said something about you having lip injections yes. and you went the fuck off. The fuck off because these are my lips. <laughs> I have pictures of I'm like two years old with my lip. That's what I'm saying. You you fucking idiots. You have no idea, you ugly mutt. Like, I, have, I, I do not I do not have lip injections. I'll show you. I, I'll find my pictures as a kid. A baby, like, pouty lips. Like, like, people are so fucking crazy. Like, that's the thing. And they probably have full-on lip fucking, ugly fucking, humongous, like, duck lips. Can you imagine a conversation with me and Jonathan? People wonder, like, when you go, oh, I fuck with Jonathan. Food God. Food God. Food God. Food God. Food God. I friend. got it. <laughs> <laughs> One word. People say, How, you and the food guy, what is this? I'm like, you don't understand. He's just, it's just real raw. It is what it is, unfiltered. And I like people like that because you know what you're getting. Like, how do you allow people in your life? Like, I don't. I'm very, it takes forever to get like a real new friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, it's like, a, I'm, I have so many like requirements. Mm-hmm. Just nothing to do with the, really like the privacy and all that stuff part. Mm-hmm. That's automatic. Mm-hmm. But then like, you know. I, but what's your deal breakers? Like my maybe? deal, like I, if, if we just like met today mm-hmm. and like we, it's like fun and I love mm-hmm. you like that already. And I text you tomorrow, let's go eat. And you're like, yeah. well, I can't go now because I'm doing this. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Because if you wrote me and yeah. I like love that person the next yeah. day, I'd be like, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. And the second it's like no two times, I'm done. I'll never ask again. Mm-hmm. So. You know, I, like, it's just, I, I don't, like, I'm always on the run. And, like, with me, it's always fun. Yeah. You never you never know what you're going to get. But it's always entertaining. And we could end up on a trip somewhere that night. Or I could be like, let's go to the mall. And mm-hmm. the next thing you know, we're at a movie premiere. And that's, like, why, like, my life is so fun. Because, like, you know what? You're spontaneous. I'll, I'm spontaneous. Yeah. But I'm also, like, I do high-low. Yeah. And that's what people don't Control understand. Control chaos. That I love going to Garden State Plaza yeah. for five hours running around. I love around. Garden State Plaza. As much as I love going to Bell Where Harbor. Uh-huh. It's Where's in New Jersey. Jersey. It's like my Jersey yeah. mall. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that, you know, 
I'm sure Wendy knows that mall really uh, well. So That's, the other the other night we're at uh, Nobu. Yeah, he eats at all this bougie shit. I, I just, the one well, downtown, the new one. Yes. Well, it's new to it's new to me. I haven't been yeah. there yet. It was yeah. been in really, LA. Yeah. really really beautiful. So mm-hmm. we're there, and I'm on this whole thing now where I want all my good people friends to be friends with each other. Mm-hmm. Right? He's already friends with Larsa, who I love to death. So I, I say, you and Wendy, go, I'm okay. So I called up Wendy. When, Wendy's mouth literally waters when she thinks of food. And I'm here with the food guy. So I'm like, <laughs> yo, Wendy, guess who I'm with? Who you with? Match food guy. Put them on the phone. They're off becoming best friends. Now you're going on the show. Yeah, I'm going on the show. That's what big. are you guys going to do? We're going to do fun food shit. Really? I might come that day just pop We're going to do watch. real fun food shit. Really? And I haven't seen Wendy in a while. And the last time I saw her, she wasn't really even fucking with me. She didn't say hello. This is new Wendy. But she says she's the same old one. She, <laughs> she's happy now. By the way, even when she hates and talks shit, there's nobody funnier. Right. Than when, and I told her that on the phone because we have not spoken and because her and, you know, that woman <laughs> and all that stuff that goes on. And she just, like, put me into the category with them. And, like, I don't know why because, like, I... I'm my own person, but I get it. It was just in her head because she doesn't know that, uh, you know. And then she popped up in that woman's house. Wait, she Popped up on. in that woman's Wait, house. Who's okay, this woman? You know we're going to say who's that woman. Wait, his best friend. No, her mother. Oh, Chris. Yeah, oh. Okay. that woman. Yeah, she okay. was called her that woman. So it was weird. So when, you know, talking to her was just like really good because I actually. You guys had a moment. You guys talked she, for a while. She was really the, the most entertaining. Part. Like I, if she wasn't on in the mornings, it mm-hmm. would suck. Yeah. <laughs> because like no matter what terrible stuff she says. She's a fucking legend. Like she's, yeah. she, there's nobody better than her on yeah. TV. Yeah, Wendy like, was a, Wendy was one of our dream interviews. You know, yeah. it was something yeah. that you know Jason has put into the universe. Yeah, yeah. She's. I used to live in New York, so when she was like uh-huh. a, a goddess on radio, one hundred seven point five. I remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I came she's to so good. and awesome. I came to New York for Fashion Week to meet Rihanna. And you stood me up last night, and guess who I met? Rihanna. I saw. I ran up on her. <laughs> Actually, we just ran up on each other, but it was good. We finally connected. And, well, and I, who else was over there last night? Nobody worth speaking about. Not oh, like really? that. I mean, Terrence J was there, and Davies was there. Who else was there? Uh, so I heard Cardi and the whole crew went to Julon Club. No, they went. They went to Julon. Club. Is that Club. where we were? No, it's for dinner afterwards, which is like the Philippe, the Mr. Chow, Philippe, Julon Club. Oh, I goes. went to Julon Club the other night. I was there. Yeah, so I, they were all there last night. Oh, the really? whole crew. Okay. Yeah, because my driver was like. Drove, drove them after he drives. Everybody is out in the city right now. The whole city is crazy. crazy. I've been going for like seven days straight. I'm exhausted. Yeah. This is like a lot. The outfits and the changing and but you know the picks are good. The Daily Schedules. Mail love the Daily Mail picks. So they're they're amazing. Uh, so it's uh you got to just look good. Now when you go out with your friends, do you pick their food? food oh, at this point they don't order. Like they my, just let my food close friends it. are like they don't even look at the menu. They're like they know I could like look at a menu and just sniff it out. I'm like what a it? fucking food whisperer. I fulfill that role food with my whisperer. group of friends. My friends call me the walking Zagat guide. See, but I yeah. could look at the menu and like see. I look at the ingredients. <laughs> I heard Zagat. I, this, I this, didn't this. know what you was about to say. <laughs> no Zagat. Get it clear. Are you not? No. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm. It's clicking now. No Z- Zagat. 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 Okay, sorry. No. Oh, it's good either way. I'm Canadian, no, you know, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gay, so I'm very sensitive to any word that sounds... You know I that word would now, never leave okay. my mouth. Now, now do you know how to pick the food just off of the vibe, the conversation? Like, say, okay, we went out to go eat, all of us. Would you just know what to get for me? As long as you're not, like, a vegan. Okay. I always ask. I'm like, is no one, like, a vegan or doesn't eat mm-hmm. this? And then when it's like, oh, no, oh, I eat everything, then it's boom. But you, yeah, the other it. night you tried it with that... that they, I didn't eggs, try it. They caviar. brought caviar. They brought. Oh, that's that. what I was gonna say. People now, when you go to restaurants, they know you, so yeah. they know to bring yeah. you certain. So shit. Uh, yesterday we went to Zuma with uh, Rich from Fashion Nova and like a whole group, and like I got there like 20 minutes later, and he's like, "Thank God you're here because since you've gotten here, the service has changed." He goes, "I ordered two drinks." 20 minutes ago, they didn't, all of a sudden, three drinks were there. They're bringing this t- this to try, that to try. There's three managers, three waiters, and we're just like, Service is he goes, good thank with God that you're here because everything has just changed like right away. And it's like, it's what it is. It's what I do. Okay, like, so wait, I have a foodie question because you're Russian as well. Where is the best place? Because when I, when I lived here in New York, I used to love to go to Pravda a lot because I love, yes. you know, the creme fraiche and, yeah. the, and the yeah. caviar. Yes. And so listen, don't nobody know what creme fraiche is? What the what fuck is, is that? Frichet? Okay, well, you, food god, please ex- well, she explain. She puts an accent on it. She's bougie because it's really creme fraiche. Okay. <laughs> creme fraiche. <laughs> I don't know how it became creme fraiche. Thank you. 
Thank you for outing her for being bougie. I feel so that poor is the, when she that said is it. the bougiest the accent pronounced a buffet. I'm, I'm Canadian. Says, okay. says the guy who ordered caviar the other night. <laughs> no, but the caviar. I did not eat caviar. Because I don't let nobody put eggs in my mouth. Well, not fish eggs. Oh, fuck. Yum. Oh, not I yum. Love. Look what he sees. No, I know. I, sick. I, I, li- I, li- I like caviar. I'm not, yeah, I'm not even going to go there. So, so what was your question? Yeah, so, okay, so, so where is the spot to get Novikov. the caviar? Novikov. No, the, the- there's no Novikov here. here. There isn't? No. I know it's in London, but I thought it was here. And too. in Miami. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. But not here. With you you got to with- go to Brooklyn. Yeah, with the premier vodka. Yeah, you yeah, got to go to Brooklyn. Shelf. There's no, like, good Russian. There's, like, the one on 57th Street. Uh-huh. Um, I forgot the, the main one. But that's, like, fancy fancy yeah you want like the local there's not really good ones they kind of closed down here i don't know russian food never took off like korean Mm -hmm. is like fire yeah it's like it's like sweet like everybody loves korean food mexican Mm -hmm. obviously um and now brazilian food is popping off so but the russian food never and it's so good i love it i love it too i I, that's why i go to the russian day spa so i can get yeah yeah just just eat something as signature and and basic as borscht but it's like it's my jam so you live in la now I do. There's a lot of Russian restaurants. Mm-hmm. In LA. No, I know. Yeah. I know. I know. So I have a good time out okay. there. Here, not so much. Not so, so much. So me and Food God are having dinner at Prime One Twelve in Miami, and I say to him, yeah. like, "Yo, you so should good. have a podcast. Like your whole life is just—it's insane. Like mm-hmm. there's so much branding, money, opportunity to get out there. He's like, you think so? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. And now here you have this podcast. And who are who are the first guests right out the gate? Yeah, like I never wanted to do a podcast. I You're was perfect like, for podcasting. You know by the why? Way. I thought I was perfect for TV. I don't. I didn't know I was perfect for just speaking because I. I don't know. It's like crazy. You're hilarious. You're. You're. I'm hilarious with a group. Yeah. See, like You're I. Hilarious. I need a. I need a. So I have like two other people that I do it with. Murder mm-hmm. Murph, my guy. <laughs> Murphy. And uh, we're we're testing out different girls to do it with because I, first of all, I need a laugher. Mm-hmm. So he might not. Need, I don't know if you're a laugher. He might not need a. I need. I need a like. I'm a laugher. Robin Quivers. I'm the laugh she laughed. That laugh gets yeah. me going. Yeah. I have a friend that laughs yeah. hysterically. That's energy God right there. He comes in <laughs> laughing his ass off. I'm, I'm like, the you laugher. Don't, yeah, that's, that's why I got murder. You don't relax over there. I'm gonna turn his way. Sorry, not mm-hmm. tough. I don't okay. want because I can't. This is like a little tight, but it was great for it tonight. <laughs> it's just tight right here on the shoulder. So mm-hmm. you like this? I like faith it. connection. So I like it. fitting like a twelve. I love faith connection. I was just wearing one of their outfits a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So this is all faith, and I got. Stuff for Wendy. I got an amazing. Fancy. I got an. I amazing, wish I was on that episode. I'm on the. I'm on the next day. It's better that we're separated. Wait. Well, no. I'll be there on the 18th. I have. I'm on the second episode. No, no. I know. Yeah. You guys are all so cool. Wait. wait so you. <laughs> so you. What so, are you going to be doing there? Gossiping? Absolutely. What the fuck else am I gonna do? I, <laughs> I don't, don't know. know. I'm I talk know. about you. Not done. Oh shit. So wait. You. You. So, so the podcast. podcast. What's so, it called? Food God. O M F G. Oh my food God. That's oh, so like great. That. Who that came up? Who came up with the name? Um, we did. Okay. Yeah, like we it. did. I went to like 50 different names. It was like, I don't know, but like, I thought this would just be fun. OMFG, like, mm-hmm. oh, my food got because everything's so crazy, but it's not just about food at all. So the lineup, the first round of lineup is like the six guests that I did was Kim, obviously, first guest and second, first two episodes. Then uh, I don't know what order. Then uh, Logan Paul. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like wow. Logan. Lele Pons, who's got like 35 million people, Huge, followers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dr. Oz. Mm. The Fat Jewish mm-hmm. and Lala. Mm-hmm. Lala that's, and that's a good and lineup. Theaters. And Jason's coming soon. When Jason, yeah, but I'm talking to you. So yeah, I mean, weird. whenever. Yeah, I think it's amazing. You know, now the pressure is going to be keeping up with that. Oh, I'm I mean, sick about it. I think I have an ulcer, and it hasn't even started people, yet. People will pick up on it. I mean, you definitely have to get Sergi Baca, who was just on our show, on the show because he, he, you know, he has a show called How Hungry Are You, where right. he meets, makes people eat worms and stuff. Um, it, did you guys see I ate a cricket when I was in Mexico? No. Why? A uh, crispy one? Or? Yeah, it was crispy. Okay. But yeah. why did it, how, what did it? Because, say? I mean, Serge's show inspired me. I was just, just like, cause, found a cause no, cause I was at a Mexican restaurant. And because you said you would eat worms, I said, you I know would. what? Wait, I'm going so to. You're at a Mexican restaurant and a cricket hopped on the table. And no, like, they served it. Oh, they serve crickets in Mexico? Yeah, and grasshoppers and worms. So your guests, are you going to talk about food? No. That, just any food, whatever. No, I'm talking about their shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Like, how, how can I talk about food? Are you going to be eating there? while you interview them? No. Okay, because you know like, there's a whole muck gang thing. M- muck bang? Muck bang. Mud gang. <laughs> Somebody the other That's day. a different show. The other, the other day. <laughs> different show, The gang. other day when we were at dinner, they were like, you, Jonathan, you, Food God, and Umar should do that. And I'm like, I don't want to be eating and talking. It doesn't sound you don't good, even get you're the, right. You can't even talk. It's just like. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. weird. So, yeah. it's it's That's the problem with the. People are just assuming we're going to be talking about food. But no, I will be telling you what the hottest new restaurant in New York will be. 
So that kind of stuff. But also, I'm like just interviewing people for fun. Like the Kim one is crazy, you know, about moving to Wyoming and uh, OJ. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I asked about OJ. Like, you know, I just go in. But I was nervous. It was Have my first one. Have you ever looked at Chloe and just said, is that your dad? I mean, because like if you're on the inside, so at some point you want to ask questions that nobody else gets to ask. Uh, no, she. Just, I mean, she definitely doesn't look like all of them. Yeah. To me, like, because they have like this one look, but she looks so hot right now. She looks great. So I don't know who, I mean, her dad could have been like, at this point, Tom Cruise. I don't know. <laughs> she, looks, <laughs> she looks She looks good. So I put out the Tristan Thompson story, and I got several calls from everybody, including the food guy, and all, you only said one word the whole call. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy was that? I stay neutral with that. You, you so do. just wow until you let me know. And then you hung up. That was it. It was just wow, wow, wow. Yeah. And then you hung up. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it crazy, though? I was pretty shocked. Yeah. I mean, it, it's... um. I don't want to say a gift because it's not a gift, but it, it's a gift that keeps on giving that I cannot believe that like this stuff just happens and it's like real life and it's the show and it's like real life and people like cannot understand that this stuff happens like that. Cause that's scripted. Yeah, that's scripted. Right. Oh no, by Fuck the way, I'm on payroll. Chris is, I'm on Chris's payroll and E by the way. And I'm, they like try, try to totally uh, uh, discredit my platform by saying I'm, I'm on the Kardashian payroll. I, I'm a fan of pop culture. I love it. I mean, I've watched you on the show. You've been comedy for years. I mean, when you guys were in the hot, in the sauna, mm -hmm. you guys were just sitting there like, I'm like, why would, I, I wouldn't even want to film in the sauna. You guys are sweating profusely. Sweating. How about when we got stuck in the Everglades? <laughs> right. That was another one. That was horror. I'm still scarred. <laughs> we had, we got stuck, we had a blackout in the Everglades. Oh my God. That I really thought awful. we were going to go home that night. And like, there's, you know, we're on a little island in the Everglades and there's mm. alligators that just crawl up. What? And it's bad as it is. We're in someone's house. You have to worry about black, brown spiders. Courtney found out she's pregnant. Me, in Chloe, the house? Why y'all were there? She knew and she told Chloe while we were in the house. She didn't tell me. But like that, when I watched it after, I, I saw she was pregnant. And I'm like, so I slept with nine layers of clothes on on somebody's stranger's couch. We were like this, sleeping in like a position. Them two, me, freaked out. Lights went out. The guy's cooking alligator. That was our only meal. Mosquitoes. And it's like, holy oh, Shit, this is real life. We got stuck. We couldn't get out because of the thunderstorm. We can't get on a boat. That's insane. Yeah. So has there ever? How do you deal with fame? I mean, because it's come. I mean, it's just it's you're on the biggest show on television that's been on there for twenty nine thousand seasons. Yeah. How do you deal with fame? It's been a long time, you know. And there's people who don't even understand. They think just because I'm Kim's friend, so like it's just a joke. But like I can't walk down the street anywhere in any I country. Know. And it's like everybody there does insane. a lot. And, but it's, it's all food God now, which is the craziest food part. God. All day long. Like, it's just so crazy. Like, food God, food God, food God. But did the movement happen in particular because of the exposure on Instagram? I mean, because you're like, it was three Nah, million. because I just, in my head, I was like, oh, they're having a lot of babies. So I need to, like, I need to figure out my own thing now. Because I just, like, kind of did that. And that was my job, and I was doing appearances, and, like, I loved it. And, like, to me, that show is my favorite thing in the world. And, like, I love it still, even no matter how busy I am, which is 24-7. Like, I'm leaving here. I'm going to film. Like, I would not miss that. And it's not even about being on TV anymore. It's just, mm -hmm. like, it's what I – it's, like, the show. Like, mm -hmm. that's, like – it's, like, it's embedded in me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't even think it does anything for me because the people that know me already know me. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, I don't do it for that. It's just like it's like what I do. I don't know. I don't even know how to live without it at this point. I'm it's sitting so long. I'm sitting front row of Food Guide yesterday at Serena Williams' show, and then literally five minutes later, when I go to meet Serena, Food Guide is on my Hollywood Unlocked page with Kim and Lala, and I didn't even know that that was happening. You'd move hella fast. Like we're like we are literally like ninjas. Pre presidential timing. Have you mastered it <laughs> to the point of like milliseconds? Really? I was here, I told you, 5.15. I don't even know what time it is. I'm trying to close on this, this. Thank God the thing was here. And boom, wrote him literally 5.15. I'm like, I am on time, ready to go. And leaving here. We are like this. And we have dinner at 7.30. And like Kim will be there on the dot at 7.30. I'll be there at 7.28, like on the dot. And that's just how we roll always. It's, so it's that's never, work ethic at this point. Yeah, we don't, we don't like, there's no like late. Everybody's like machines. Like I will, I already filmed two Dr. Oz episodes this morning. I'm doing this. I'm filming with Kim after this, I have a dinner after this, and I'm probably late night shenanigans with you. <laughs> so, for sure. And that's like, it's been seven days. Like, I'm, I'm, Are you ready for it to be over? Yeah, I'm more ready. than ever. You know, I just moved into my new apartment. That you haven't been in. That I haven't been in because there was a hurricane in Florida, so I was there for two days with my mom came with me. 
We moved all the stuff in, and then all of a sudden we got to leave. And I'm like, what? I, I didn't even get a minute to, like, enjoy it. Mm. And now I have to go from here to uh, L.A. now for, like, 10 days. So I don't, I'm not going to even get back there until I have to go to Dallas to do the podcast stuff and then go to L.A., um, and then I don't even, so once again, I'm paying for another apartment and it's full month. So I'm paying here. I have an apartment I've rented. I'm paying here to live in a hotel and I'm paying for the other apartment and I'm not there. So okay. I was going to say, I just I'm got back dumb. from, I just got back from Sounds Mexico exhausting. from vacation. What does vacation look like no. to you? Never. It doesn't exist. No, it doesn't okay. because I'm always pressured. Like I have to do videos like in mm -hmm. Turkey. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be on vacation. I have yeah. the sickest, amazing, this Paramount Bodrum hotel. We have our own pools, but like every room has a pool, and it's like beautiful. Yeah. They're all in circles. They're gorgeous. Like you have to, it's like the sickest thing Where ever. Where is this? In it, Turkey, no, in, no, in, in Turkey, Bodrum, but Bodrum. okay, okay. Yeah, and uh, and I'm like, okay, I got to do a video with this person. I got to do, and it's like, and then in London, I'm filming another show all the time. You know, this girl Gemma Collins, who's mm -hmm. like the biggest realities. So I was just on her show. We did two episodes in LA, which we had to film, and she's like the biggest reality star out there so i had to do all the press while i'm in london on vacation to go to vacation mm -hmm. i'm doing phone interviews sitting at harrods mm -hmm. so i'm literally did six of the daily mail sun the mirror well, it doesn't stop full interviews and then like the next day i have to go to saint tropez for three days Ooh. and for saint tropez to turkey then back to london to do like a post a posting for a life restaurant. is real hard no nah, bro but that's what I i'm mean, saying see because that's what i'm saying that is hard it is hard it seems that's like it's easy you know how many it, i took like 13 planes for that that's Mentally draining. That's like literally 13 airports. I've been here for a week and I'm over it. I'm thinking of going to Bermuda on Friday stopped. for two days. I don't just, have a Bermuda. Yeah. I go from here. I go right to Dallas and then I come right back. But there to has Dubai. to be a balance because if, if not, There's not okay. So I don't know how to balance it. I can't because it's so much going on. I'm Christmas. working on the food got sauces right now. So all of that and then Christmas, I'm like sick to my stomach because I'm like, it's a long period of not working. But at yeah. some, but at some, but at some, <laughs> but at some point, um, at some point, all of the girls have slowed down enough to start a family and have yeah. a relationship. And they're, they're, they got to that a good balance. point, though. Okay, but when I'm, do you get there? Well, because I'm like on a five year behind schedule of them. Okay. So like, okay. what is what is happening to me? Hap like, is them like five years ago? So all the stuff you have all, to put in the work. All the businesses, yeah. And I'll have you know a family like in five years, and I'm still good with that mm -hmm. because right now I love being able to be in Dallas, going to hang out in L. A. and all Freedom. of that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Being flexible. I don't. I don't yeah. want to be. Fl I love this life. Mm -hmm. Too much, you know what I mean. But do so, you want but also like work so hard? Like it's a, it's a, it's a fun game. It's not mm -hmm. like oh, it's so fun. Like it's stressful all day. Mm -hmm. Do you want kids though? Because I don't. Yeah, want I want kids, but like uh, until I'm ready for them to live really comfortably with somebody to like take care of them, meaning like a Support, nanny that sleeps help. there and like all of that, like all day. Like I, that's the. I'm not good with that. Like mm -hmm. I'm not good with changing diapers. But I will be. I could be with the kid all day. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. But. Um, well, I, love I, I, just can't. I love kids. Like I do. I go crazy when I see them. I go nuts if they're like cute kids. I can't. It's Single like a, dad over it's here. It's like a dog. Yeah. It's like a. Do That's I love hysterical. dogs too, but I cannot clean up shit. I don't understand how you. It's like you so, play with it. Just like oh, great, oh, you know when you think about it, I think I'm like okay, I'm gonna get a dog, but then I'm like great, I'll clean up the shit that day. But I'm like wait, it's like three times, but every. Day. day forever and then you have to remember <laughs> to feed the dog every day and i'm like what no i, I there's no way i can <laughs> think about that I, had, to remember to feed the dog. I had a dog for three years and i gave it away and i saw a picture of it the other day having not having had not seen it in like the last five and yeah. i was like I had a moment where I was kind of sad that I gave my kid away, you know? Do you feel like it's your kid when you have a dog? Yeah. yeah. Do yes. Yeah. That's a family man. I mean, I is it? One. See, I it's love family. them to I'm the biggest pet lover. I'm a crazy. But I'm like, if I had to give a dog away, like, is it like that when, family? When me, yeah. When me and I have a teacup yeah. chihuahua and I'm obsessed with her. Like, I, I, re I, I really miss her See, I love I love dogs that are smooth like that. Yeah. Like, I don't like what I don't like. This is the breed that I don't like. Sorry, the, the to everybody. big Labradors. No, no, those are adorable. I can never have that, but I love those. I don't like Shih Tzus. Mm. Okay, a face. I don't know how you could love a Shih Tzu face. <laughs> or those, or those bulldogs with the. <laughs> I love those Yorkies. Bulldogs. I'm not a fan. I'm of not Yorkies a Yorkie. Either. Maltese. Yep, not, no. I love like Italian greyhounds, Dalmatians. Like I love those like smooth, beautiful like body. Too big. No, but they're like gorgeous. I saw miniature Dalmatians the other day in the park. Two of them. Oh my god. I literally almost jumped on top of them. The guy was like, Stand <laughs> the fuck back. I had a I had a min pin in Chihuahua. That's a, that's my kind of dog. Yeah, yeah. lots of energy. Smooth, yeah. that. smooth though. And I will tell you what, why it became like my kid. Because when I broke up with my ex and the house was empty and quiet, that motherfucker ran and jumped in my lap, and we were just yeah. cried together. And then we said, "Fuck that nigga, let's keep moving." Yeah. So a dog is it's like a kid. I got I got it. Like, I know I'm like I'd be excited for a dog to be home every day, like to come back right now to. 
to home and a dog coming, like instantly, I think puts you in a good mood, right? Yeah. It has yeah, to. Yeah, it does. It, does. it has but to. But when you're on the grind building a brand, like you are, I mean, you really are in it 24 7. To say you're changing your name, I mean, you're in it. No, everywhere you go, that's what it is right now. It's that. So you do have to become consumed with what you're doing yeah. to really like get it. Like the food got sauces alone, the tastings, the food got truffle ketchup. TV the show coming at some TV point. TV show, we're about truffle to sign ketchup. a deal to do truffle ketchup, Ooh. truffle. Um, Truffle uh, steak sauce. Mm. Yum. Oh, by the way, they taste so amazing. Oh like, my god! Samples. Where's it's, the sample? It's crazy. That's <laughs> the next time. You next and time. Wendy are going to be a hot ass mess talking oh. about food because she's a foodie. So I'm bringing Wendy a hot dog, or I brought Wendy a hot dog with crab, king crab hot dog instead of the meat, and on top is caviar. And it's like the sickest thing ever. Oh, God. The $100 hot dog. Are you bringing her anything with hot sauce? Because you know she loves hot sauce. Yeah, she loves hot sauce. It, this is more about food porn. Food Here's not, the thing. Okay. Yeah, she, she'll bringing, have it in her doing, bag no, anyways. No, it's all fun stuff. It's not about like... Like really sitting down and eating. You know? Nah, yeah. it's all fun fun food. No, nice. Not hot sauce food. You okay. know what I mean? So, <laughs> not hot sauce food. Not hot, hot sauce, sauce food. is for everything. Is there, any, do, is there anybody in the industry that you just hate? Like you see him and you're like, I hate that motherfucker. Mm, you never really had any. No, there's a few people. Yeah. There's just a lot. Of, there's like haters, but only from the old days. Yeah. The people that can't understand that like, yeah, um, I'm famous. Like I, 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 people do know me all over. I'm in the press all the time. Mm -hmm. Like people still don't understand that. They're just still like the friend thing. I'm like, no, no, that's so dated. And uh, th that stuff just drives me crazy. It's like so, I can't, like I'll see people from like 10 years ago and they'll be like, oh, what are you, what's, a, you know, oh, are, you, are you doing this food thing? Yeah, I'm yeah, doing, doing a multi-million dollar food <laughs> thing. brand that's a monstrosity and getting paid like, you know, $40,000 on Instagram to post stuff, big fucking stuff. It's not a thing. It's like my life. So the other day, we're, uh, he takes us over to Kendall Jenner's party, me, you, Tiffany, uh, Serge, and we're leaving. And you realize we have a similar shirt on. Not, I mean, yours is probably more expensive than mine. I had off-white. I don't know what you're wearing. Libertine. He refused to walk out the party with me. He was like, there's no we way. We were down the stairs. There was literally 50 paparazzi outside. <laughs> and I said, take that fucking thing off. I, was, I, <laughs> <laughs> I will not walk down the stairs with you because I know that kind of clownness that goes on. Yeah, like and, you're you're really into it. Like you're really in tune with that, all that, that whole monster it's of just media. just in our head forever. It's mm -hmm. just like because, you know, I've done it both ways. I used to do PR and now it's on the other side of it. And, uh. Yeah, I can't. I know a picture of me and him walking wearing plaid is not going to be pretty. Which, which, do, you, which do you enjoy? <laughs> Funniest thing, because I kept saying, "Man, I'm gonna put it on." He was like, "You, I will fucking kill you." Wait, so what do you enjoy mo more, uh, food god or the publicity? The being the being on the publicist side and doing that, or food no? God? This is like, I d I paid my dues with that. Yeah, you're I worked. Be a rock star. I worked, and I was like, you know what? I'm too funny to do to be like behind the scenes. Because when I used to like make Nicole Richie laugh, and she's the funniest person I know, and she used to like punch me because she would laugh so hard, I'd be like, or Kelly Osbourne, all those girls at that time were like the biggest. Hillary Duff, who I was very good friends with, um, just all of that, and they would just like die laughing, and I'd be like, I need my own show, and it was virtually impossible mm -hmm. because it was just like, what's the reason? And I got my own show called Spin Crowd when we were doing PR stuff, mm -hmm. and it was the highest rated show in East history during that time um and it was only lasted one season because the president left and uh and it's just so funny people are like a failed show like nah 2.4 million viewers is definitely not a failed show it was a mon it would have been the biggest show on tv by now would have made it the biggest um but the president ted harper left at the time and there was a woman lisa berger who ran it and she's like you know we're not going to do the season two but we want you guys to go and do uh kim and courtney take new york and mm -hmm. we want you to you know Stay there, move there, and that. And you know me, like, I'm like, great. Some people would have been like, no, and argued, and like, mm -hmm. we need more money or more of this. And mm -hmm. I'm like, awesome, great. Like, I'm not, and that's why it's been such an easy, like, mm -hmm. don't bite the hand that feeds you. Mm -hmm. It's never been a, an issue with that. And I'm like, great. Like, you need me? Like, I'm there. You know what I mean? That's like the first priority. Kim's in town the first priority like it doesn't matter who i have plans with whatever it is when kim's not here then i'm then i'm my own mariah carey you know what i mean then oh de speak on it definitely and, but when kim's here you know what that's a respect that's it like she this is her fucking but it's thing. crazy be yeah and, and I, it doesn't matter and, and it's and I how it is i respect that because a lot of people you know I, I i i talk a lot about floyd mayweather who's a close friend of mine out of 
uh, just appreciation for what he did to really support me and, you know, the show when we first started. But I was reading the 48 Laws of Power, and one of the chapters is never outshine the master. Not that, you know. And, That's a great statement. And and I, keep, and, I, and I try to tell my team all the time, like, you know, we all are a master at what we do. But in this world of what Hollywood unlocked and the brand and company and all that, I mean, it's my world, you know. And I feel like some people are afraid to say that or own it. And respect it. Where did that did that come out of the friendship or just really knowing like... I just like respect what she's helped me do and as she respects what I've done for her. And like no matter like how it is when she's not here and how I'm treated and how I still get everything amazing and I still get, you know, photographed and I still get my big rooms and, and the crazy cars and like the seats at restaurants and the fans. When she's here, it's just it's just like it's Kim. Like I gotta go. When my mm -hmm. friends call, I'm like, it's Kim. I gotta go. Mm -hmm. And that's like it's weird because it takes I go right back to like how it's been. But it's like it's just a respect thing. I think the notoriety may have came from being on the Kardashian show, but I think the respect mm -hmm. comes out of how you treat people too. I do feel like mm -hmm. you you are really good at how you treat everybody. You know what I mean? Like you 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 know people like you. You don't just walk in the room and they're not. I don't see people treating you a certain way because you're Kim's best friend right your food guy right i mean yeah. like I, i'll never forget i put on my instagram because the shit was outrageous pulling up in that valet in miami and just every, different age groups of people who really that's dope knew who you were but food guy food guy food guy yeah. and, it, and yeah. i know it has to feel good arriving to what oh, you know you're yeah, passionate you're, yeah. about yeah. it just makes yeah. me very comfortable yeah. you know what i mean i'm at a much more secure level because mm -hmm. just that building and now it's built to like this but it'll never end it's always a chase yeah which makes it so fun, mm -hmm. you know. But like, I'm I'm so appreciative of where it came from, and I get it. And it's always like, it'll always be like that priority. Like, no matter how famous or wealthy you get, it's still like, if Kim needs this, it's just how it is. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And then the worst part is that people are always like, oh, you kiss Kim's ass, and I'm like, I they don't know me, Jason. They don't. I am the opposite. There is zero, and I mean zero, kissing ass. They're like, I'm a nightmare. <laughs> like I will, I will rip her to shreds. Tell her how to. Yesterday in the fucking store, I go, mm -hmm. that short fucking hair, you fucking. The bob, like, the bob is a little different. But I'm just saying, okay. everyone, I love it. I love it. I love it. Do, do I you love, like it? I hate it. I okay. told her, I go, I where's the long hair? Mm -hmm. I don't like it either. I said, where's the long hair? I hate this fucking hair. I tell her this all the time. As a so, girl, we just like to we like to shake it up, you know, long hair, and then I want to do super no, short hair. But the whole point but, is that everybody's probably like, I love your hair; but, it looks but, so good. But keep a friend around you who's going to tell you the fucking truth. But that's a, the funniest thing is that people think it's the opposite of me that I like kiss. Yeah, her but that's ass because they don't understand the world. They don't get it, and it's just so, that that part drives and, me. But crazy. But you have to. But you, ha I have. If you say I talk about this person, yeah, I talk about the people that I care about. Right. And you know what? When I talk to them, I'm more critical than anybody around them. And they accept it. They love it. They look forward to it. So you got to get to a point where you're just like, man, I'm not fucking talking about that shit. Yeah. Because the haters going to hate. Most of the people that hate are sitting up at home very, very uh, stagnant. Just mm -hmm. stagnant. Sad. Why are they so sad? I and get it because they're looking at people partying and, mm -hmm. and going to all this. And everybody has that. I'll see someone mm -hmm. somewhere and I'll be like, fucking asshole. Omo. But I'm not going to write them and be like, you're <laughs> ugly or this or that. Like, who has the energy to do that? And I'm like, it doesn't matter. Keep writing. It makes me go even harder, and it's going to be worse for you. But, it, like, but what, yep. what makes it all the more real, I was saying to them before we came in here. So last night, uh, my mission was to go and talk to Rihanna because we've been trying to get together. And she walks in, and she comes over, and she's just really excited. And she says to me, I know it must be hard. This is Rihanna, who I've met once very briefly, not really. She didn't know who I was at the time because I didn't have Hollywood Unlocked. But uh, she said, um, you know, I know it must be really hard balancing these friendships that you have and these relationships with what you do. But I have to tell you, as a businesswoman, I love how you built your brand. I was like, what? I mean, we could have talked about anything. But that's what she said. And I, I will say to you, like, just on the outside watching it and just kind of being in and around it, mm. it's fucking phenomenal to watch somebody, like, putting in the work, Reaping the benefits of the hard work and living out the dream of what they want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And getting fucking money. Because you, you got an apartment at Bell Harbor you haven't even been at. <laughs> you got money. I work hard for it. I really do. It's a it's a constant. You got to stay relevant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know how hard? That's another thing for a it's guy hard. to stay relevant this long without having to show your ass, posing in the beach on Instagram. And, getting the, and, out. and getting the weeklies to talk about you when you're not standing next to your BFF. Mm -hmm. That's right. not easy. Nah, it's not yeah. easy to, to, to create a whole brand. I just saw some awesome thing in Us Weekly of me shoving a pizza down my throat. It was like hysterical. <laughs> but that, that's, a, that's the fun stuff. Like that's the part that like 
wow, like it would never, you know, years ago, it's like, how does that even happen? It, it, it doesn't. It's like a lot of hard work for that. So so you learn not to go out with him if you look like a slump because you're going to end up in a picture and people are going to be like, God, what is that? Yeah. Highly intimidating. Well, listen, thank you for coming on the show. Yes. Uh, the food, food God. God. OMFG, yeah. the podcast <laughs> that I'm telling you right now, I hope I get a chance to be on. You're coming up. Okay. Well, I'm waiting. So just you know, let me know. Hard, this is the part that I don't like, the coordinating. <laughs> don't coordinate. Just tell me when to pull up, just like today. <laughs> like, it's annoying to come all the way down here to do this. Like, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't even know how to ask people to do that kind of stuff. I, it's weird. Just Listen, tell them. Well, just say you're coming like, to I don't, my but show. I, see, my thing you. is, like, I don't want my podcast to be just, like, celebrities. Because right. I'm like, they go on big radio stations. Why would they? It's the same thing. I want, I have a lot of funny people. I feel like I could be Howard Stern, but have a podcast. Mm -hmm. You know, and like Howard is the king. So like to even be like a, a, a drop of him, but in that hour of podcast mixed with like funny stuff and celebrities and like what's hot and what's not. And mm. that's kind of like where podcasting is fun because there's less there's 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 really no structure. It's whatever you make it. You yeah, know, so it's everyone's just expecting like... food. Everyone's like, I can't wait to talk about. And I'm like, no, nah, it's not about food. We're going to talk about Lo Logan Paul and how nuts he is. And yeah. mm -hmm. and like there's just like. It's it's a lot of and, stuff and that whether, I just want to talk and about. And whether or not he would make fun of people hanging in trees and, again. Yeah, I tried to yeah. skip that. Well, part. when he comes on this really show, I can't touchy. wait to ask him. Yeah, I'd be like, yo, it's good to see you hanging in there, Logan. <laughs> right, oh, yeah. Wow. So hang on. How do you come up with this? <laughs> listen, I'm a sick bastard. All right, well, listen. <laughs> Food God, the homie, it's, yes. it's, it's, you're a good person. And I enjoy <laughs> hanging out with you. Thank so you. If, you, if you go somewhere tonight, yeah. which you probably will, please let me know. And I have to dig through all my luggage to find something appropriate. Cause I don't know if you got anything left. <laughs> but something plaid. <laughs> no. <laughs> no plaid. Right. Fuga, we out of here. Peace. Bye, right. everybody. Bye, guys.